and the Brain Tumor Walk, uh, the Ottawa edition is happening. It's coming very soon. It's going to be taking place Sunday, June 10th, Andrew Hayden Park. With us right now, a couple of brain tumor uh, survivors. First of all, we say hello to Pablo Coffey joining us. Thank you for having me hello back. Pablo and Chris Moore as well. Nice to have you on the program. Thanks for having us. Nice to see the word survivor because uh, that probably wasn't too much fun to have to deal with, having a brain tumor. Pablo, uh, we're, I'm going to ask you each individually what it meant to have this condition, this issue. This well, Pablo, yourself, what, how far are we going back here? Uh, 2010, yeah. uh, when it was diagnosed. And I think uh, for me, I think it was, uh, it was a blessing. Uh, really? it, it taught me to appreciate what I have in life and to not focus on necessarily the things that are bothering me or, or, or you know, having to impress others in life. And uh, mm -hmm. it, it opened up a whole new world. And, you know, my children were one and three at the time and and, uh, and my wife. So it was, uh, I think it was, it, it's led to a lot of great things. So I wouldn't change any of it. Okay. So how did you know that you had an issue? I, I was getting headaches that were offensively bad um, and, and, and bleeding and, and lost uh, about 30 pounds in six weeks, jaundice shade of yellow and just, a, just in, in bad shape. Okay. Um, uh, that led them to finding the tumor. Okay. And here we sit. So how did you resolve? Uh, with brain surgery hmm. in uh, April of 2010, uh, which uh, unfortunately a couple of days later led to a stroke that, you know, uh, lasted a longer stay in hospital and then a couple of years of, uh, of physical and speech therapy Gosh. and you know my son was one at the time Simon and uh, we were basically grew up together learned how to walk together talk together and wow. uh, so it's been an interesting ride but uh, like I said I wouldn't change it. It, it we're in a good place now and I know you as being a, a, a quite a, a member of our community and, and you'd never know that you went through this because you just seem like your average everyday guy you, I think with you know with my wife and kids at home and I think Chris could attest to this too you learn to appropriately mask it mm -hmm. uh, n not in a way where you hide it deep and, and you don't deal with it but in a way where you learn to understand what's appropriate uh, behavior and, and reaction and mm -hmm. and whatnot especially around uh, you know family okay. okay so Chris how about yourself when, when did you have this this issue so mine was fairly oh, mine was utterly shocking I, I'd been a super healthy active ate all the right things did all the right things low stress everything I thought I did everything right got headaches uh, this is ended up having the surgery January 2017 so just about a year ago hmm. and uh, it was an utter life derailment total total shock um, yeah my life changed and wow. uh, and going from I must admit I went down a dark path and felt quite uh, depressed for a period of time but uh, with the support of my family and friends and Mm -hmm. And uh, the support group with Pablo and every, everybody around, I've, uh, I, I've had a very positive journey through my treatment wow. to, to this point. So it's really only been a year then that you've been... About a year and a half this, year yeah. and a half this uh, in June. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so Pablo, this event, I mean, it's obviously affecting many people. What are the numbers on, on, on people that have brain tumors? Currently, on average, about 55,000 Canadians uh, are battling a brain tumor. And uh, on average, 27 Canadians a day will be diagnosed uh, with a brain tumor. Uh, and of course, there's more than, as, as I recently learned, uh, more than 150 different types of brain tumors. So it's sort of all over the map. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the, the, the help and the right people, we live in a great city mm -hmm. uh, to deal with this uh, you know, sort of battle. And uh, I think we're very blessed for that. Chris, how does somebody get a brain tumor? Maybe that's a silly question, but is it just... You know what the shocking thing is? We don't know. It just happens. We don't know. There, there's, there's certainly cancers that get developed in other parts of the body that metastasize and go to the brain, but primary brain tumors, we don't know. We still don't know. After 20 years of trying to study this, we don't know. So. Wow. Okay, so that's why you're raising cash, I mean, to, to help out with some research and studies. So yeah. let's, let's fast forward here to the 10th of sun, uh, Sunday, June 10th. That's when all the fun is going to be taking place. It Serious is. Serious topic, but a fun event. So how many years has this uh, brain tumor walk been taking place? <laughs> this is, well, the Brain Tumor Foundation of Canada, um, it, it, this is their 36th year. Mm -hmm. And here in Ottawa, um, I should know this number, I believe it's the 29th year mm -hmm. uh, here in Ottawa. And uh, the number of registrants and the money raised goes up every year and it really does go to the right place mm -hmm. uh, in Canada so okay so Chris who can participate in this walk absolutely everybody yeah everybody this is uh, this is not just for survivors it's for the community it's a it's sort of a family picnic atmosphere it's for everybody to come out and show that support show that we're stronger as a community as a bigger group 
Okay. Uh, and show that love and support. Yeah, and, and, and quickly on that note, yeah. one thing we're trying to do is make it more family-oriented each mm -hmm. year with the events that take place at the walk. And uh, I actually, I put my my 11-year-old daughter, uh, who is a public speaker and, a, and another friend in that world, um, who uh, have taken over the family affair of uh, fun for this year's event. And it's gonna be, it's gonna have a different look to it. And yeah. Uh, yeah, we want people not just to come there to support and raise money, but to truly enjoy their time with, because everyone there gets each other. We all understand while we're there, or, or we wouldn't be, whether it's individuals who have gone through it, or loved ones, or family members who have passed from it, but mm -hmm. it's uh, it's getting bigger and better every year in Ottawa. And that's really good to hear. And, and I mean, it is important to, to note that having a brain tumor isn't a death sentence. I mean, because, I mean, it isn't always. I understand there's some situations where, where, it, where it's, it's maybe gotten to the point that, you know, it's, it's not able to be taken care of, but through events like this, your fundraising, you're raising awareness. You're letting people know that it's not such a scary thing. It, we are. And, right. and one of the things that I was introduced to probably about a year and a half ago that Chris and I both attend is the uh, Ottawa Support Group mm -hmm. for uh, 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 brain tumor uh, victims, I suppose, and uh, the last Wednesday of every month at the Maplesoft Center. And it's a nice environment to express current feelings and past feelings and get advice, whether it's, uh, you, know, you know, dietary advice or okay. medical advice. It's motivation. So sure. braintumor.ca is the place to go to for information on that and, of course, the amazing walk pablo and chris we thank you for your yeah. time here today we Thanks appreciate your stories thank you sunday, very much june 10th it's taking place check it out more daytime coming up